2 Timothy's, 2 Timothy's, 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 8. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Yahweh our Shah, of our Lord Yahweh, of our Lord out of one Yahweh our Shah, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the to the power of Yahweh. <clears throat> I would like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shem El Shabbat Shem HaKadosh to Wadi Yahweh Shem El Shabbat for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and pushing the words of sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come and what is to come Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID, checkpoints, the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the terror of the Lord. Lifting up the whole for that. Into the chambers. Simultaneously, the terror of the Lord. You made the beings of the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Abaratazad, I've altered the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation. Out of this filthy place called spiritually known as Sodom Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the rest of the customs crammed into one filthy mess. Um, it's been a, it's been um <clears throat> it's been a long day, and uh. Why y'all watch him out shot for um, for getting us to this point and everything is happening. It's happening, baby. It's happening. You know, and um it ain't been easy and we have to be partakers. We have to be partakers in this, man. And um you know the Lord do provide, man, he provides, bro. And and he he don't want you to. I was watching the brother. He don't want you to give up. He want to keep. He want you to keep going hard. You know, <clears throat> and that's how that's a reasonable service to keep going hard. You know, and if you and hey, <clears throat> and when the spirit jumps on you, you know it's from Yah by Shemuel Shah. You know, and um, hey, I'm just gonna roll in the spirit. And this verse popped out. This pop. This verse popped out, and um, I'm gonna stick with it. And um, I brought this out a little. Give me other verses. All right. So I found. I got this verse. I was watching the, um, the video, right? You know, years ago, down on 34th Street, down on 34th Street. Um, our apostle was out there with um, Tucker Carson, and um, hey, um, he was. It was. He was. He was always talking. He always had something to say about what. What was said to him that day. Because if when you watch the video. Let's see if I can find this. I was just watching it. right? I want to pull it up. He said something in the video. He said he was scared. It's just making me nervous. Because oh. he. he they, You know at one time. They wanted they wanted to approach us. They wanted to approach our apostles. And. And say things. And bring out. Whoa. whoa what are you doing out here? Oh. They want to do that. But they. They wiped. They, they eat of my privilege is dwindling away. All right. Their pastiness is dwindling away. <clears throat> that look they have is being, um, um, is dwindling away. I was watching another video, which I'm, I'm, I'm going to play both vocals. I'm going to play both audio. And yeah, I'm, yeah, man, I was inspired by this man. I could not stop... I heard this right now. What's today? Let's see what today is. Today, right now, it's five thirty-four p.m. It's um 
Tuesday, April 25th, 2023, the year of the hopeful year. All prophecies come to pass, and it don't have to be all of them. It could just be a certain amount, but I'm about to say, Dwight, I'm about to say, it'd be all of them. But, you know, everything that happened according to how Yabba Shemel will is. But, um, I was loving this part, man. I was just like, I was, I was um, watching a few videos, and, and I'm just like, man, I'm so grateful. I was watching, uh, Oh, uh, um, this video is so full inspired me. It inspired me. Everything. Um, uh, um, oh yeah, here we go. I right, I got. I'm actually. Let me play this one verse. I'm gonna play this one first. I'm just gonna play. You know, it was beautiful, and I just want to hear that one part. Salafia. Hey, Shalom. I just wanted to get to the part when when Apostle um when he said um when Tucker Cotton Tucker Cotton said um you're depressing me. <laughs> this is what you hear that part. I mean, do the spirit of Abba Shemel I mean, if A, it, bravo, the Wadi Abba Shemel Shah, by Shunkak Wadash, for giving us our apostles that got us back on track. You know, the Wadi Abba Shemel Shah for that. All right. So we are at the point where we, um, we, it, the, the, the floodgates, the, 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 um, the floodgate of truth is flowing, babe. You can't hide this no more. You know? No. Wonderful. Do I have a bunch of mouth shot for this? In person, they call them in our spine. But guess what? White people are our finals too. That's a that's you're in our final, okay? You're depressing me. So that's what they're all posted. Uh, did you hear that? You depressing me. That was Tucker Carson. And his face didn't change. It was him. It was him. He was trying to hide himself. And I think he just lost his show. So, because he was telling the truth, he can't, he, you know, once you hear something, either you're going to love it or you're going to hate it, man. Once you hear something and it, and, it, and it resonates with your spirit, you could probably, you could probably be a Jake or not. That depends on the Lord what he is. But he kept wanting to tell the truth. Just like um, Alex Jones. Something about them, something about them, they wanted, they was compelled to tell the truth. So, they could be a Jake or not. That, that's up to the Lord. You know? They were saying they something. But um now he ain't got his show no more. Something to the fact like that. You know, but yeah, I just wanted to hear that part. And um and like I said, let's go back. Um all right, uh Wow. I was just we read this at camp this first verse. Alright, um we're gonna still stay on track. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. Be not, be not therefore ashamed. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our other one, no, nor of him, of, of me, his prisoner. No, don't be ashamed of our, of our, our apostles, man. For what they gave us, man. What they, the Lord Yahweh Shemeshach gave them and what they gave us, man. This truth, man. But be thou partakers of the affliction. And that's what we have to do. We have to, we have to be partakers. We got to be out there. You know, remember all the times when I'm, um, oh, you out there. You, I remember the lady? I'm shame of you. I'm shame of you. I don't like you no more. Well, she said, judgment, judgment. And they, they didn't break down. Our apostles didn't break down. Right? We got to be like the same way. We got to be hard like Flint. Right? What is that? Um. Yeah, we gotta be hard like Flint. I'm just gonna quote it. But be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of, of Yahweh. Alright? That's what we have to do. Right? I wanna see something fast. We gotta be partakers, man. I don't know what else to say here. Cause I had, I had a rough day. Actually, I didn't have a rough day. I was just, it, it was battle tested right there. It was just like, I'm like, wow. And I was just thinking about the Lord. I, I thought about a verse. 
couple of verses, and um, I'm like, wow. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, you ain't gonna let these motherfuckers bust me up, right? <laughs> so he said, nah, I got you. So he kept me moving and moving around these damn devils, man. These damn devils are evil. And they can't, they was coming out of every, uh, he said, they want you, but they want you, they want you bad. You know, and it's just the confidence in Yahweh Shem Yahweh I don't feel ashamed of knowing this, man. I don't feel ashamed. I do not feel ashamed of knowing my apostles. And I brought this out. The Lord keeps me enduring. Keep me enduring. You know? Because our apostles, our, our apostles, Yahweh Shah went through it. Our apostles went through it. From, uh, from that was the disciples of Yahweh Shah, they went through it. They got put to death. They got all types of things happening to them. This have to be the one. This have we have to be. Oh, and man, this video, bro. I mean, I want to see the whole video, bro. I want to see. The, I want to hear this whole conversation. This guy led up to the, this chariot thing, man. This chariot, this they came down in chariots, and it was like <coughs> Salakia. This thing was so powerful, man. So I'm just like, wow. You know, I just want to see this. I want to hear, I, can't, I heard it like 20 times. I've just been hearing, listening to this video. I was like, wow. Man, the why y'all watch me on shot for, um, for, um, for having us, for having us be his, man. I mean, I, I'm just like, I'm flattered. I'm, 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 I'm happy because we, our apostles has been telling us over and over. He's been repeating us, you know, and, and individuals came, came amongst our, our, our apostles and elders and and um tarnished their name and did all this, do that, this, that, and and did and they not they didn't stand the test of time. I don't see these individuals no more. That's that's terrible, man, for what they have done to themselves. You know? Cause now they ain't got nothing to, to um to stand on, no foundation. Yahweh Shah is not with them. They with the apostles. That's why we can't be ashamed, man. I'm not. I'm a, I want to be a. I want to partake in an affliction too, man. You know, whatever the. Because right now, just going down the highways and hedges, man. It's been really um invigorating, man. And, you know, you got the stupid ass jobs and stupid ass bills, but these are things. These are the part of the curses. Working, and you know, enduring. And the Lord do feed you, man. He keep you. He might take certain things from you. Um. I was watching, I forgot where that chapter, this verse was at, but be not ashamed of this, man. So, all right, so, all right, all right, so let's see what we can have get here. Because I'm just like, I'm still so excited. All right, so, and that's where I'm at in my mind right now. From coming home, and I'm like, wow. Like, wow, the why y'all watching me on shot? Um, this is Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of Yahweh al Shah is perfect, converting the souls. The testimony of the Lord is Yahweh al Shah is sure, making the wise simple. And that's what we've done, man. And our apostles came out from, you know, being called foolish for making the wise look simple. Simple minded, man. And the truth is coming out of them. And we are we are witnessing this, man. We are, are and it's too late to fall out the game now. So we, I, we, it might be a sure. We might have a sure chance of being them. One of the, the, oh, one of those great men. You know, man. I, I, this video, bro. I was, I, 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 like, I, like, I, like, I'm lost for words, bro. Because this is 2023, right? You have a prophecy. All prophecies can be revealed. Everything is being revealed, man. Come, everything is being come to pass, man. Everything is coming out on the forefront. Like, who would have knew to hear something like this? 
right? I'm like, yo, what do you mean you're going to be coming out the cherry uh, to a hundred young, <laughs> bro, come on, man. This was powerful stuff right there. <laughs> it was powerful, bro. I got to find this video again. Yeah, I know lots of brothers heard this already, but um, I got to hear it again, man. I mean, I love this video. This video is powerful. I wanted to find the part. The part. I just wanted to get to the part, but it's not that long. Air Force Base. The, these cigar-shaped uh, ships were over a mile in length. One of them landed on the uh, uh, airport landing. Okay, remember the remember, um, remember the other story um, about the black yeah, black Jesus that he came down and talked to the um, the Rothschilds. And what they did, they ran up on them and chopped them up and, and did whatever they're going to do, put them in a the ring grinder, and he still came back. He said, all right, I guess y'all don't want me here. I got to watch that one again, put all this stuff to play back to back, man. This stuff dynamic. Y'all finish. <laughs> you finish, Joshua. You're done. area. <clears throat> when it touched the ground, it created a cloud of dust that was Listen to what he said. Seven set. What what he said? Wait. Young men with huge men with huge heavy weapons came out of two sides of the ship and formed a uh, protection line around the ship. And the people at that Air Force base, uh, the commander had a meeting with the individuals that were aboard this ship and this particular race that landed those ships and that are seen in these these huge uh, cigar shaped ships they uh, are a black race they look like African Americans they were did you hear that they look like African Americans that's a cold word for niggas Well, we know the uh, they came a <coughs> hundred to a hundred few men. How fast did they get out of that ship and circled that ship? You're done. You're done, Ashashua, and the rest of these Gentiles. You the, the the other the um the other nations. You're done too. You're gonna be put in slavery. You're done. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. You're gonna be here. You gonna we ain't sharing the gloriousness with you. You are gonna be here. You are gonna fix out. You are gonna make the earth nice, man. Pretty. We not ashamed of what we learned, man. This is glorious, man. Uh, six four six five. These uh, uh, tight fitting black leather outfits on, and the weapons that they came out of the ships with, they were huge, uh, huge weapons. I need to find this whole video, bro. I just want to hear this guy speak, like the whole thing. I don't know. I'm just amazed at this, man. Because this is 2023, and the apostle, he prophesied all prophecies come to pass, man. I mean, it, the, um, the, um, the, the earth going to give up the truth. We're gonna, everything going to be coming to, to the forefront. <laughs> so let's take the time to be ashamed of our gloriousness. You know? Take the time. Oh, that's a lot for the enemies. I was rolling the spirit, right? So I, I just saw like a couple of verses. I want to see if I should read these right here. Look, at this get some of this. And we are bearing witness to this. John chapter 15, verse 27. And ye also shall bear witness. Because ye have been with me from the beginning. And we was there, man. We had to be in there, man. We, we don't know. We had we had to been there, man. Coming out, man. Like, what y'all going to do? They done, man. 
John chapter 19, verse 35. And, and he that saw, saw it bear, bear record and record, record is true. Record is true. And he knoweth that he should. And he knoweth that he say true that he might believe, man. Man, our apostles put up, put themselves out there, and they, 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 we got some love, our apostles, man. God, Yahweh Shemuel Shah gave them to us, man. The other ones is just riding horses and shit. Trying to be something they're not. I'm just like, I'm excited about this. Yeah, so, oh yeah, let's go back up. Let's see what else we can get here. Because I was looking at something else. Alright. Alright, um. Uh, Um, Second Timothy chapter one verse twelve. I think it's the same chapter, Salakia. Oh, what a day, man! All day I was thinking about, you know, a lot of stuff running through my mind. But that 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 was serious, man. That man, he was speaking with, with conviction. <laughs> Second Timothy chapter one verse twelve. <coughs> For the which. Cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I believe. And am persuaded that he also is able to keep that which I have con committed unto him against, against that day. And that's us, man. And we... we Yo, we've been persuaded, man. We've been persuaded, man. And and to, to suffer this for these things, man, will be my pleasure. It'll be our pleasure, man. Because I look at this world, man, when I'm in at work, I'm like, these motherfuckers ain't got a clue. They think it's about these stupid ass jobs. They better take these jobs, man. This shit's over, man. All you have is a briefcase of faith, man. Hmm. Psalm 119, verse 46. I will speak of thy testimony, testimony also before kings, and I will not be ashamed. Man, we're not going to be ashamed of this, man. This is just all in your spirit, man. Like I tell you, man, I didn't, I didn't, if I'd have, you know what, it, it wasn't made for us to, to get it when we went, so we can get it. Oh, what about, I could have got it 20 years ago, 30 years ago, oh, mommy. No, it was when the Lord wanted to give it to you, which makes logical sense. That time when he gave us this truth, whenever moment you got into this truth, that's when he wanted you to have it. Just at that moment. Uh, I'm going to end it with this one. Luke chapter 9, verse 26. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed. When he shall come in his, in his own glory and in the Father, and, his, and in his Father, and of the holy angels. You're going to be in trouble, man. You don't want... When the Lord come back in His glory, man, He ain't going to help you out, man. It's the time, man. This is it, man. This is when... This is this is the moment, man. This is what we're waiting for. This is what we're looking for. This is what it's been about. 
Yahweh Shemel Shai revealing himself and us not being ashamed. You know, we should not be ashamed. You know. And that was just a quick one. I love this out. I was clear and that defined. Salak, if I stumble over words. You know. All prayers and honor, glory, God, bless you, Shah, by 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 Shah,